I don't know who invented the doom scroll, but it was obviously in the service of Satan. I mean, obviously we all waste a lot of time. Scroll, 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 scroll. But I was trying to read something today, and the format was a scroll rather than individual pages. Now, even electronically, there's no reason you couldn't just swipe to the next page, swipe to the next page. There's something about the scroll that makes it hard to conceptualize. Maybe it's just me, but I, I like to see, I think in terms of like individual pages, like where was it on the page when I was reading it? Like I'll be reading something and a paragraph catches my eye. I get a little farther down the page and then um, I, I want to revisit that. When it's a scroll, I have no idea. I know it's somewhere in the past. I don't know if it's a big scroll up or a little scroll up. But if I'm reading a book, I know, okay, that was in the last page, the last two pages, something. And uh, I just find it really hard to find my place again when I'm scrolling. I just, I don't think it's a good thing. I mean, I thought that I missed books because I just like books. I've always enjoyed the actual tactile feel of turning pages and that. But I think it's more than that. I think the ability to image uh, the entire uh series of thoughts that the author is trying to portray as a series of vignettes you know that's we have you know whether it's chapters or verses or pages and so forth it, it's broken up there are we have paragraphs with an indent that tells us okay here's a thought here's a thought but with a scroll it's just endless one endless thought without uh, markers and delineations that help you keep your place Anyway, that was my thought for today.